Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn a problem titled "Jumping on the Clouds." Let's read the question and try to understand what the question says. The question says that Emma is playing a new mobile game that starts with consecutively numbered clouds. Some of the clouds are thunderheads and the other are cumulus. Right. So there are a set of clouds which are sequentially numbered. and then there are two types of clouds one is thunderheads the other one is cumulus she can jump on any cumulus cloud having a number that is equal to the number of current cloud plus 1 or 2 so emma can only jump on cumulus clouds she cannot jump on thunderheads you just see she says she must avoid the thunderheads she can only jump on the cumulus clouds now determine the minimum number of jumps it will take emma to jump from her starting position to the last cloud it is always possible to win the game right now for each game the input will be an array of clouds numbered 0 if they are safe that is a cumulus type of cloud or 1 if they must be avoided for thunderheads types of clouds now if you have this array 0 1 0 0 this number so they are basically indexed from 0 to 6 the cloud numbers are from 0 to 6 right and then we need to find out how many jumps we need to make right so we can make multiple ways that has been explained out here either you can jump from 1 okay we cannot jump by 1 because this is a thunderhead so we jump by two steps once then you have an option of jumping by 1 and jumping by 2 but if you jump by 1 the problem again is like you will be taking more steps so you have to first always give it a try to jump by two steps right so second step you jump here then third step you jump here right okay in three steps you can take it fine and there are better examples out here this is the example there are seven clouds these are the numbers and then there's an explanation out here and again there's one more input out here there are six clouds these are the numbers and then there is an explanation out here we'll try to understand this problems in detail and try to look into how do we solve this fine so i've taken the same input which mentioned out there so i have just basically marked the thunderheads with red color out here and then the cumulus as blue color the starting one is always a cumulus and then the last one will always a cumulus right and programmatically the data will be represented as zeros and ones zero for cumulus which is visible as green sorry blue color here and then one for thunderheads which are in red color out here so we need to find out number of jumps as we have seen that our job is to reduce the number of steps right so okay we will always try to see if i can jump by 2 right if you jump by 2 you will try always try to jump by 2 because then only then if you jump by 2 to 2 then only then you can reduce the number of steps but okay if, from here if you try to jump by 2 step from 0 to 2 but okay 2 is thunderheads so i am not okay this to be avoided so i cannot jump by 2 since i cannot jump by 2 in such situations i will always try to okay jump by 1 now again from 1 i will not jump to 2 i will not even look out if i can it's even if it is possible i'll directly jump to 3 this is the second step and from 3 i'll check out can i jump to 5 but i cannot jump so then i cannot jump to 5 i'll try to jump to 4 this is the third step and then from 4 i'll jump by two steps right so after my first jump you will be at cloud number 1 after second jump you will be at 3 then third jump you will be at 4 and fourth jump you will be at 6 that's been demonstrated out here through the table here right now let's try to look in another example and try to understand right so from 0 where will you move to will you move to 1 or will you move to 2 we will always try to move two steps if it is possible and from here since jumping on two steps will end up into a thunderhead because of that reason we jump by one and again from here we'll jump by two right how many steps three steps after the first step you'll jump to cloud number 
after second step you go to three then after third step you reach five which is the last one right okay now let's take one more example and try to understand here just starting from zero since you cannot jump to two you will jump by one and from one you jump to three and from three you jump to five from five you cannot jump to seven so you jump to six and from six you jump to eight but after eight what should we do should we jump to nine or should we jump to ten remember we don't have a cloud with the value 10 so trying to jump by 2 or even in trying to check is the 10th okay cloud with number 10 is it uh, thunderhead or the cumulus that itself is a problem because in that case you will be crossing the boundary of an array right so from this what we understood is you should always check out if by incrementing by one step if I can reach the last cloud just increment by one don't even check out two steps further right and if you do not reach the last cloud by incrementing one then you can basically select should I select two or jump by two if that is a thunderbird then I cannot jump then you try to jump by one remember the problem statement says that the input will be in such a situation that you can always win you will never encounter two thunderhead clouds simultaneously right so you can just observe here this is how it is after 8 you jump to 9 you don't jump to uh, 10 right then you will be crossing the water of an array so I hope the problem statement is very much clear when should we jump by two steps one should be jump by one step and how do we take the boundary condition right now let us try to start the implementation So I have a program out here wherein I have already written the code to read the inputs. First, I am going to read the number of clouds and then a type of each cloud, right? Here I have declared an array of n elements. In case you are working with uh, Turbo C, then this might not work. So be careful with that, right? Now, how do I write a program logic for this? First, let us try to uh, declare variable to keep track of your current position where you are so I'm going to keep track of my current position current position right initially you start with zero right so this is my initial position my initial position is zero after that what is my end position or I can say last cloud which is n minus 1 so the n number of clouds since we are counting of this is starting with 0 the last cloud will be n minus 1 last cloud or you can say the last position right any meaningful name is fine then your job is to count the number of steps or number of jumps so I need to keep track of jumps right initially the number of jumps will be zero right so you have to repeat a loop as long as your current position is less than the last position right and as I said you need to first verify jumping by one will you reach the last position or not I'll check if right if I take up the current position plus one if that was going to take me to last cloud then I just need to increment by one So incrementing by one can be done with plus plus operator. If incrementing by one does not take you to the last cloud, and remember last cloud is always a cumulus cloud, which is a safe one, right? So you don't need to worry that is it hundred cloud or not. If this condition is not satisfied, then 
you're somewhere in between or at the beginning wherein you have an option of jumping by two or jumping by one so first i need to check can i jump by two how do i verify can i jump by two so the array name is c so i need to use c and then the index of that the index is your current position right plus two the current position plus two will be the index that is two steps forward now if that is zero or it is one if it is zero means it is safe it is safe if it is safe then i will always try to jump by two so i can just use current position plus two right in case if it was not safe to jump by two steps in that case i will be using or incrementing by one step right now among these three steps you'll execute only one of it and that is one jump right and which one among that depends upon the condition what you use so i'm going to just increment jumps right so i can just use plus plus here so if you want to observe after each jump where exactly you are right so we can just check out after or i'll just try to print a tabular column wherein the first one will be jumps and then the second one will be the current position right so that is by jumps this is for better understanding right and then the final result is basically the total jumps that value in the next line so that in case if i have to put it in hacker rank it's easier for me to comment it right this my jumps fine okay so we can run this program and try to observe if this is fine or not so first i've compiled it if you want to see if there is any errors out here we just try to look in the logs and there is no problem with respect to this so i can run this so you can view the data whatever we have seen in the slides initially so first i'll just say that the number of clouds is 7 then i'll say our uh, type of each cloud which is 0 then again 0 then it was 1 then it was 0 0 1 and 0 right so we start from 0 we cannot jump by 2 we jump by 1 after the first jump it will be 1 and from 1 it will jump to 3 then from 3 to 4 4 to 6 right okay now we can also verify with other input wherein we had 10 and then we had like Zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero. Right? From zero we jump to one. From one we jump to three. Three to five. Five to six. Six to eight. From eight to nine. Remember eight to nine. That is very important. Eight to nine. Right? We don't jump from eight to ten. So from eight we jumped to nine. Total number of steps is six. Right? now we have verified this so if you want to put this into hacker rank just make sure that you comment this line this line is not required and neither this line is required right and after that even this intermediate steps are not required and then total number of jumps also okay this message is not required only this one to be printed 
and this is the loop what you're going to read it and yes people are working with older version of c you might face a problem in case you cannot declare i here so just declare variable i before the loop right so we have done the code we'll try to copy this code and try to execute in the platform we'll go to this platform here we'll just try running this code right let me just try to reduce this the same thing what we just wrote now right so i'll try to run this code and see if there is any errors if there are any errors we'll try to rectify it perfect no issues thank you